세 단어 표현 합장 여섯 번째 앞에서 배워 알고 있는 세 단어 표현 100개의 영어 설명과 비슷한 표현 3개 추가로 총 300개 표현 이제 한국말 없이 영어로만 해요 처음엔 불편하지만 자꾸 듣다 보면 나도 모르게 익숙해집니다 1. Seal the deal So first up is seal the deal This is something you say when you want to finalize or confirm an agreement, often in business But you can use it for anything that involves making a decision For example, if you and a friend are planning a trip and you both finally agree on the dates, you might say, all right, let's seal the deal. It's like putting a stamp on something to say, yes, this is official now. Similar expressions you could use are close the deal, make it official, or sign the contract. 2. Hit the lights. Next we have, hit the lights. Now, this phrase doesn't mean to literally hit anything, it's just a casual way of saying, turn off the lights or turn on the lights. For example, if you're leaving a room and the lights are still on, you can ask someone, hey, can you hit the lights on your way out? It's quick and easy and a little bit fun to say. You could also say, switch the lights, turn the lights off, or flick the switch. 3. Stay with me. Now, let's talk about stay with me. This is something you say when you want someone to keep paying attention. or to stay physically or emotionally close to you. Imagine you're explaining something complicated to a friend, and they look a little lost. You might say, stay with me, to remind them to focus. It's like saying, don't give up, we're almost there. You could also say, stick with me, or even, don't leave me. It's useful when you're in a conversation, and don't want to lose the listener. 4. Finish your work. Here's a very straightforward one. Finish your work. This phrase means exactly what it says, complete your tasks, whether it's homework, a project, or even cleaning your room. Someone might remind you, hey, finish your work before you take a break. It's a simple but important reminder to stay focused and get things done. Other ways to say this could be, get it done, wrap it up, or complete the job. 5. Watch your back. Next, we have, watch your back. This is a little warning to be careful. especially if there's some kind of danger or trouble. It's something you might say to a friend who's in a tough situation. For example, if someone's dealing with a tricky person at work, you could say, just watch your back around them. It means, be careful and protect yourself. Similar phrases include, stay alert, be on guard, or keep an eye out. 6. Recharge your batteries. Now, this one's really important, recharge your batteries. Just like how your phone needs to be recharged when it's low on power, people need to recharge too. If you're feeling tired or stressed, someone might say, you need to recharge your batteries. This means you should rest and refresh yourself so you can feel better and have more energy. You might also hear, take a break, rest up, or re-energize yourself. 7. Make it right. Here's one you'll want to remember, make it right. This phrase means to fix a mistake or correct something that's wrong. For example, if you accidentally upset a friend, you might apologize and try to make it right. It's about taking responsibility in solving the problem. You could also say, fix the problem, correct it, or make amends. It's a good way to show that you care about doing things the right way. 8. Save your strength. Next up, we have save your strength. This is something you say when you don't want someone to use all their energy at once because they'll need it later. Imagine you're helping a friend move heavy furniture, and they're doing too much too fast. You might say, save your strength. We still have a lot to do. It's a helpful reminder to pace yourself. You can also say, conserve energy, rest up, or don't wear yourself out. 9. Persevere through challenges. This one's a little longer but really important, persevere through challenges. This phrase is about staying strong and continuing to push forward, even when things get hard. Life is full of challenges, but when you persevere, it means you don't give up. For example, if you're studying for a difficult exam, you might say to yourself, I just need to persevere through this. It's a motivational phrase. You can also say, keep going, don't give up, or push through. 10. Follow the signs. Now, let's look at follow the signs. This can be both literal and figurative. In a literal sense, you might hear it when you're driving and need to look for road signs. Figuratively, it could mean paying attention to clues or advice in life. For example, if you're trying to figure out what to do next in your career, someone might say, 
follow the signs to encourage you to look at the opportunities or clues around you. You could also say, read the clues or look for directions.